So hey guys, so today I want to talk about Black Magic, a camera company that I've been looking at for a number of years. I've been looking at their Ursa cameras, I've been looking at their switchers, I've been looking at so many different things. I own a few of their products. Um, but today we want to talk about the 6K Pro camera that they released. Let's get right into it. So the 6K camera, guys, this, this camera del delivered by Black Magic. I'm going to get right into the pros. I'm not going to waste you guys' time. So the pros to this camera to me, first of all, I want to say is Black Magic has a good handle on color. I can't say they're Fuji in terms of how they handle color, but they do a good job. Um, and, and I believe a big part of that is because of Da Vinci. They have a good background in, in, in color because they own a product like Da Vinci. Da Vinci was actually um, a, by a company called Resolve. And Resolve sold to Black Magic this Da Vinci software years ago. I don't know how much they paid. I, I, you can look it up online. And I think that definitely played a major part a part in how they develop the color science for these cameras and of course they had their hands in a lot of different things before they got da vinci and before they started making cameras we're not going to go into that right now but they've been around for a while and they've had their experience with color and conversion and things like that changing from like hd to sd sd to sd to hd and 4k to hd just moving from different formats to the other they had that type of experience creating basically encoding video and so I'm not surprised that they have a, a good handle on color. So color is definitely the first thing I would say. The second thing I would say that Blackmagic covers very well with this camera is the operating system of the camera. I can't even, I, I, I kind of want to say this in slow motion because this is something I have been saying and I'm going to go on record right now and say it on the channel. I haven't said it on the channel yet, but here's what I want to say. If camera companies would work with software companies and develop an operating system, maybe Linux based, I don't know, Unix based, something that's extremely stable. And they give the cameras that we would typically use, whether it's a still camera, whether it's a motion picture camera, they gave these cameras an excellent um, operating system or software. That's huge. I'm not going to go into the implications, but basically just something that's more intuitive, something that has more flexibility as far as you changing menu items around, as far as you navigating the menu quickly, as far as saving your menu or saving your settings for your camera on a card or something. Just 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 the flexibility of happen, having a proper OS on your camera that runs with minimal hardware um, resources. That's huge. But Blackmagic, I feel like, has done that. Their menu system is so well laid out. I mean, the only way you can really get lost is if you if you just were rushing through the menu. You was rushing through the menu, didn't notice a particular category or a particular area. But it's well laid out, easy to navigate, easy to easy to go through. And the touch screen on the back of this camera is amazing. It's kind of different because the screen is huge. It takes up so much space on the camera. But you, that's kind of what you need to use when you're filming. But the operating system, second, my second, second con. I mean, pro, excuse me. My last pro, because I just want to give you guys three today, is the actual ecosystem that Blackmagic provides. It is unbelievable. From DaVinci to their switchers, um, to their how the cameras interact with each other. And let's give you guys a quick example. So any Blackmagic camera, once you connect it to a, a switcher, they have these, these video switches where you can switch between different cameras if you're doing like a live event. The switcher can actually see the camera and communicate with the camera. You can control focus, you can control color, you can actually pull up a tally light, which lets the, the person on camera or those in the audience know that this red light or the tally light that's gone off lets you know that that particular camera is active. And so seems simple, but it's it means a lot when you're doing production. And then DaVinci, you can literally shoot everything to, to your memory card inside the camera and in, and to a hard drive connected to your switcher take that actual is because with the, these switches some of these switches that black magic makes they actually have isolated files where you can say okay i have five cameras but I, even though you're recording and i'm switching between these five cameras and it's creating an actual final video from the shots that i've selected you can actually say okay despite the fact that i'm picking these shots i want you to record every camera isolated so you'll have if it's five cameras you have five separate files along with the master file that you created by switching between shots um on the same hard drive and then and there will actually be a, a davinci 
resolve file inside that folder so when you open up that file you see all of the cameras already synced up with their audio and you can actually replace some of the shots you selected while you're editing it, it, it just makes the whole multi-camera editing process smooth simple and to me that's huge so like that is a it, it, it's it's sort of like they've taken a page from apple where they've said okay hey you bought our product and because you bought our product we want to make sure we give you all of the tools necessary to shine and if you look further even at davinci davinci has hardware that you can actually connect to your computer such as um they call these things panels where you basically you're choosing you're creating like shortcut um dials and sliders to control your color whether it's your your, your highs your midtones, or your shadows or to control your brightness curves whatever the case might be levels all those things are um accessible at your fingertips instead of going into a menu or into the software and on top of that they have hardware audio devices like 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 sound like sound boards that connect to davinci it's it's amazing so if you bought the camera and you're looking to make a serious investment um, you can you can get these items little by little and build up an entire production studio in your bedroom or in your office, in your house or in your garage or in your basement and not have to rent out a huge um, office space somewhere downtown or somewhere else. You can literally do most of these things from your home, a high resolution professional lab. And so those are the three things for me. For the last thing, I, the, the last one I mentioned, which I think is the top is the ecosystem that they provide. And then you have their camera operating system, which the camera also has firmware and they've been updating the firmware for this operating system pretty frequently. And then the first thing was the color science. So would I recommend this camera? Yes, there are some challenges with the battery. It drinks a lot of batteries because you're literally using a computer with a lens. And so it needs a lot of battery power, but there's ways around that. That's not a big deal. It's, it could be a little big, and bulky for some people, but I think it's a great camera system. The colors look amazing. The shots look good. You guys have been seeing some of the shots from the camera as I've been talking, and it definitely won't disappoint you in those areas. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. The 6K Pro is an amazing camera for $2,500. And um, I think when I got my first camera, I paid like 2,300. This is back in 2005. So for what you're getting, 6K um, imagery, again, 6K is not something you necessarily have to shoot at to deliver in 6K, but you could shoot in 6K and then change the dimensions, reframe the shot, get closer, you know, move things in different directions and then deliver it in 4K or deliver it in 1080p. But that's pretty much it, guys. This is an amazing camera, great value for the for what you're, what you're getting um, in the complete package. And... Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and go ahead and comment below anything you want to say, any, any questions you may have about the camera. And if you like this type of content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Okay, guys, this is Sewell. Until next time, peace.